this is our room. I'm in like the mayo part, so I'm in the left side. The girls are all on the other side, so yeah, you can hear them talking, probably. Nice area, got like a little couch here, another couch. We got the big TV up here, nice. So you can even uh, look out here. We're literally on the first floor, so it's almost like you can look out, out of over here. You can see like the highway, and you see this like truck coming by over there. Pretty nice. And then we got, um, I think we got like the parents' room here, kind of like where dad's gonna sleep. Actually, that is where dad's gonna sleep, and probably the mom's gonna sleep with him too. And I'm guessing these um, green doors are also storage closets. You also got a window in there. Yeah. So apparently, the lights don't work out right. <laughs> yeah, that's also, this is also the kitchen area, and yeah, this is apparently not openable. This is, yeah, this is a storage closet. You feel like it's or something in that bank there, too. Alright, and then we got our nice bathroom over here too. I can turn on the light hopefully. Yep, there we go. Nice. Pretty cool. Hello, are you taking pictures of all the rooms? <laughs> yeah, this is the other room obviously being I got like my Pokemon plushies there too. Hello, 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 Luigi's YouTube. Hey world! <laughs> Hey yo, what's up guys, Luigi we'll Strecker here today, and you can hear crazy girls in the background, obviously, but I'm just gonna do a little vlog saying that, yeah, I'm finally girl vlog, I'm in my room now, looks pretty cool, I really like it, and I, we're gonna um, go um, eat soon, and that's gonna be fun, I, I think we're eating at a pizza place, and the pizza is probably gonna be really good, so I'm really excited to eat the pizza, and since I'm hungry, since I haven't ate stuff in like a three and a half hours, so I'm definitely um, ready to eat something, hopefully I can play Magic Quest on later, and then I can get some videos or photos and stuff like that. And I hope you guys enjoy some of the photos I already took of Rainbow Swatch, like when we arrived there. So, but this thing will be more vlogs. Like, I'm pretty sure tomorrow we'll probably be going on Wizard Quest and also like doing more Magic Quest and maybe even possibly going to the pool. But I'm not sure how many pool photos I'm gonna get. The only really pool photo I'm probably gonna get is actually from like the lodger or the stuff. Like, we can take a picture from the window, obviously, as you can see on the other thing. But yeah, it's been pretty good so far. I'm liking the vacation. I've been having a lot of fun. Definitely, the, the car ride there was like all I would actually was literally doing is just editing my PC box for Pokemon and also just adding all of this new music. I probably added like around 60 new rock songs or something. So go check that out. I definitely added the top music of all time playlist and also added some other cool songs on there too. And I'll probably keep editing and probably like when I go back from from Wisconsin though. So yeah. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go get some food now and I'll see you guys um in some more pictures. Probably like in the food place. See you there. Yeah, sorry if it's dark in here, but I'm gonna be um, doing a little tutorial on which um, objects you need to get to get the lightning room for Magic Quest. So here you go. So you hit the shield here. Get the shield here. And when you get a regular, you can get 50 gold. And then if we go all the way over here, wait for this to deactivate. You can get it. Maybe. There we go. That's where you get your um, shield, right? And the entrance to the store. Or the entrance store over right here. And you get some chests along the way. I literally like nothing. You got the Magi's Warriors couple up here. And the shield is armor is actually right next to each other, so they're both near each other. Yeah, I know what And after you're done. 
have to wait for these people to be done, and then this is where you get your lightning room. Let's get, get some chests while we wait. Oh, look at the chest. Look at the gold. Oh, not bad. 100 gold. Uh, I'll be right back. To reward your efforts, I now grant you the fearsome power of lightning. Use it only when you must. And good luck on your future travels. Jacob, you're so fake. Jacob, what the hell? So for these uh, little showing off where the crystals are. I'm just gonna like go around it and go to my wand. I'm not really gonna explain where they are, but the red one was over there and the blue one was over there. Like where I just got them, obviously you can see the color of them. Now we're in the second room. Oh, let me go over there. Went all the way over there, if I can get it. I have to prepare you have found the purple crystal. Purple, run over here. Run. Run. And it's kind of hidden back here, but here's my one of the crystals. You have found the yellow crystal. Yo, Sophia, we only have three left. Mom, Mom, we only have over here and then get another crystal. Here. You have found the white. And then you can get your rune over here. There you go. I see you have found all the Dazzle Crystals. For this, I will reward you with the beautiful and vibrant Dazzle Ring. The Dazzle Ring! Go in peace, peace man. Die and be dazzling. There you go. That's it, that's it. All right, so for the enchanted room, here's the chest you have to open. So right here, hopefully it opens. Oh yeah, this, this chest is broken. It doesn't open, but yes, this is the chest you have to go. The chest doesn't open for some reason. You can go get this one over here. I'm gonna wait. Stand in the middle, Marvin. Stand in the middle, right here. Hopefully I got it. Then we can, uh, uh that's blocked off. So to use the staircase. Is now. And then you can go to uh, this one over here. Painting is all the way up here, which is something else you have to get for the thing. Right. Let me just double check if I actually got it. Really, I need to make sure I got it. Really, I didn't even get either of the chests. Uh, I'll go get those and I'll show you that. There we go, got it. Crystal wasn't activating though, so there you go. There you go. And there you go. Alright. So now I just accepted the heal quest. This is where you find the shadow moss. Once I get it. There we go. So let's run all the way up here. So here's where the other two are. They're not really hard to find. So you have to run all the way over here. I can get a chest while I'm on my way. And you run over here. And then what you do is activate the fungus over here. It's activated. All the way over here, we can even get a chest while we're at it. No, she! I think I don't want to And, uh, the tree slime is right here. If I can activate it. Hey, uh, there we go. And we go all the way over here. 
jump up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a fast runner. I like doing these flats really quickly. And we have the fern over here. Nice. You have to go all the way down there and get, and get your heel room. Alright, so what I did is I got the bottle, there's like crystal in there, and then I got this. Alright, so what I did is I got the bottle, there's like crystal in there, and then I got this. Sorry for background noise. And there's your heal room. The healing room. So for portal, all I have to do is just have 2,000 gold, so get enough chests around the kingdom. And obviously, I have a lot of gold, so I'm good. So just go over to the lady in the hall here, and you can get your room. There you go. Well, the easiest rooms to get if you have enough gold. I think it's not that hard to get enough gold anyway, so yeah. I've done like this about like five times or something, maybe even more, so I know I, know I have enough gold. Yeah, there you go, portal room. I present you with the portal room. Just listen to her talk. Oh yeah, you're gonna make it an axe, I think, for the goblin and the dragon. Yeah, Alright, so I'm starting in the second row because the freeze room is the one I'm doing next. Is all of them are on the second and third floor. So you have to get the lantern here. Then you go all the way over here. Oh, that's just these trees area. Go get your tree painting. Right there. And then we go all the way over here. Thing you have to get for the freeze room, and the freeze book is on the first, which I'll go get that. There you go. You found the fairy circle painting. Sorry, there's kids in the way. I'm trying to get my things. Better hurry up on the first floor before they get it. All right, so they're they're, they're, they're taking a trip to the lady. Please. So here's your book up here. The book of freezing spells. Oh, you found the freeze room book. Alright, so now to get all of that, a lot of me running around. If you take if you're on following me all the way, running around with me. You're literally just not making it to freeze room. Protection room, you need 2,000 gold right away, and here's how you do this. So you have to go to an hourglass. And I'll let it talk because I know exactly where the chest is, but what I like doing is actually like while it's talking, you just run up to the chest array because it gives you a time limit to get the chest. So, yeah. So you go get this, and uh, hourglass is talking to us. It's about time. Yeah, 30 seconds. You have to run up, you have to run up the stairs there and then go to where the chest is. Ready, go. Go. Alright, we're going. So you go up, 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 up. And you go all the way over here. Your chest is inside the tree here. Found the chest, baby. And then once you get the chest, now. So yeah, once you get the chest, then you have to find your chest. Go down here and go over to that uh one of the stations by the shadow quest. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, go all the way over to this station right here, the tree guy. 
Congratulations, Magi. You have completed your quest for the rule of protection. It's yours to keep. The protection room. Use this room wisely to protect yourself from the fiery breath of dragons. And much treasure will be yours. That's useful. Alright. So yeah, that's your protection room. Not really too hard to get. It's one of the easier rooms, but it takes, it takes a little time to like get to know how it works. Alright, there you go. Like no time. So I'm studying in the area in second floor. All you have to do is just kind of go around like this area right here. Remember this area is all you have to do is just go halfway there and go around and go around this area here. Sorry, I'm an awful explainer, but then you get your icicle thing right here. And it sounds like mix and it sounds like Mickey Mouse, yeah. All right, so then what you do is you go over here to the snowflake on the wall. And that's your next ice arrow thing you have to get. You have found the snowflakes. Right. Found snowflakes. So then where we go, I wish this was actually open, because then it would be much easier to go through, but we have to go over here. So you go all the way over here. And you get your dragon scales. Right here. I can actually activate it. There we go. So, like, next thing you do, like, next one's on the fourth floor, you can go up that way. Or I'm gonna go up the easier way, just go over here. Get your other thing. So, yeah, all the way on the top floor here. Here's the hawks. Here's the hawks. All the way up here. There you go. That's the hawk squad. And then what we do is. Activate the owl here. Then you got your room. It's actually the one square. Here, here we go. Yeah, the ice arrow. Congratulations, Magi! This powerful dragon slaying wound is now yours. That's yours. These are all like, uh, like different floors except for like two on the second floor. Might take some time to figure out like, the last one's on the fourth floor. And frankly, there's not many things around on the fourth floor, but usually don't have to go up to the fourth floor for stuff. So yeah. There you go. That's your ice. So I'm gonna start recording here for Master Magi Room. This, might, this one might take a while. There's definitely a lot of things you have to find for Master Magi. So you can, uh, you can go down here and cast it, or you can go to the sides. I prefer the sides, it's easier to cast them. And you can even go from the third floor and try casting it from there, but it's easier just to do it from the side. So what you do, there's a star on the tree there, so let's cast it, if I can get it. Well, I think the easier idea is actually to go and... Yeah, so the best area, I believe now, now that I've realized it, is going here and cast it from the side. Great. There you go. Star. There's one star right here too, so you can cast that. Which one activate. There you go. And then we go over here. So there's there's around like I guess you could say three stars on the second floor, right? You can that's easier to get from the second floor. So there's one up there. That's one I guess that, that's a more easy one to find. The first one's a little hidden and I guess the middle one. Middle one's also easy, but sometimes hard to activate. Though. Try getting your wand to activate it. So we go up here, all the way up here. So then your fourth star. Then it's easier, like, to not go up this way for a fourth floor this time. It's actually easier to go up to the fourth floor this way for reasons. Because your, your star's over there, and if you saw, like, uh, in my ice arrow room, that's where you can off. I think you're gonna remember that the last star's on the top floor. So you cast it up here. You can look under here and see the goblin area. Pretty cool. At least they didn't board this area off. I'm kind of mad they board it off like they got berries on the sides. To make this going up and down a lot easier. Apparently no one's up here, which is good. Okay, the last star is up here. But the bad thing is, once you get all your stars, you have to go all the way back down. Which kind of sucks. So I'm just going to run down here really quickly. And have to trip and kill myself. Because we don't want that. And then we'll be giving you these um, pretty bad tutorials. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can see them, but I'm not really explaining it too well. I'm just kind of showing you guys where you go to get the things. So, yes, this is a good enough tutorial for me. 
All right, here we go. I have to get all the five stars. You have to go through this um, book here. I don't know what you think you have. It doesn't have no purpose, but do you get it? Okay, here we go. Bam, 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 bam. And the book of stars. There's a chest around. I guess a master manager. Huh? That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna become a true master. Alright, so here's what we do. So, first one, which is you have to find this creativity, you have to go up to the third floor, which might be a little hard. But you can get up there. Huh? All the way up to the third floor. You have to get these in order, which is annoying, because you have to go like third floor, second floor, I think like then the first floor, and then. So you can just like easy way for the maids is just go this way. Easy way, and then you can uh, your creativity. I mean, frankly, anyway, this maze is really easy. Yeah, that's your uh, creativity. Nice. Even like this, even like I guess the harder way is not even that much harder. So then what you do is, I guess we can go down this way. A little shortcut in a way. Not really a shortcut, but it's a little, it's a little shortcut. Go all the way over here. And then we go get our communication. Then collaboration's next and then, I forget the other one. Courage and then collaboration, that's what it's called. Yeah, that's where you get communication in that area. And then over in this open area here, if you saw like this thing here, three collaboration. You have found the third stone of the master and then we go all the way down here. All the way down here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And this is where you can get your courage. Your courage is all the way over here. And then sadly you have to go all the way up to the top floor after this. My suggestion of getting to the top floor again is just going up like the stairs that. I used to get back down to the book of stars. So like here, I'll show you the stairs I'm talking about. Just go up these stairs. It's, not, it's, it's much easier to go up these stairs. So now people, uh, less people like interrupting like you going up and down. That's my suggestion. Let's go up. Keep going up. Keep going up. And up and up. Go all the way up. See, I didn't see it takes so long to get up here. And then we can finally get our collaboration. But the thing is, you have to go all the way back to the first floor again to get your Master Magi room. There you go. Compromise, not collaboration, it's compromise. I'm stupid. I haven't done this in a while, so I don't remember the words I've done with my head really well. I've not done this many times. Alrighty. Alrighty. I'm still gonna go faster than these stairs, but I'm probably gonna be exhausted. I've been running up and down these stairs just trying to get all these rooms in a really short amount of time. It, I mean, it's fun to do, but it's it, it's exhausting because obviously I'm not the most fit person. Ah, yeah, yeah. And it's apparently cold and when you get to like the bottom of the staircase, probably because of that door right there. And then this chest right here is where you get a master magi room. There you go. I kind of like the lights working on too, which is cool. Congratulations! They used to not work every time you went to An exalted new Master Magi oh, walks yeah. the land among us. This it is, is time for celebration! Um, I'll do watch quests on the tutorials later. And that's how you get Master Magi room. I'll be kind of useful. Oh yeah. Alright, so before I ever do Lodge Quest, because I'm not going to do this on Lodge Quest right now or Shadow Quest, I'm going to do some of the Magi adventures before I go to a whole completely new thing called Shadow Quest. So I'm doing the Dragon Adventure and the Dragon Beatings right over here. And I'll, and I'll definitely show you the order, but it shows you right here the order you have to do like the symbols in. The secret to the Dragon Portal is yours. Cool dragon armor on the two, even with the Dragon Painting. All right, so now what we're gonna do is went on the staircase, and pretty sure if you know, I'm pretty sure you guys know where the dragon is, but I guess I'll show you where the dragon is. 
pretty obvious where to find a dragon. And frankly, the dragon, I don't find, like, at first, I thought it was, like, really hard to do normally, but once I knew how, like, it worked, I knew the rhythm of how to do it, so the dragon was much easier for me. But since I haven't done it in a while, I'm not sure how easy it will be. I guess we'll have to wait for these guys to do the dragon. So once they're done, I'm gonna go. I might have to wait a while. I might actually do a different quest in general. So I'll cut to when I do the dragon fight, alright? I'll show you the symbols. See you there. I'll show you the way how to do it normally at some point. Alright, so I'm doing the dragon thing now legit because I did like with like my room last time, so I'm gonna show you how to do it legit. To get the to get all these things in here. And you get this. So you get ready for your protection already and cast it. Congratulations, Valdai! 
you have completed your adventure and defeated the Dungeon Dragon. You are a true hero of the kingdom. Protection and freeze and ice, and just keep doing that free time to make sure to activate that spot. It's, it's easy if you know like the pattern to it. Yeah. There you go. That's the dragon. Alright, so I'm thinking I'll have to do the uh, goblin, see if it works. So you do is just activate the crystal and get one of the torches up there. And your goblin fight is started. They have a nice new screen for this too, instead of like a projector, they've got it on a TV now. What's all the noise in there? God, where are you? I know this guy's lines. Beauty Manachar dares into my chamber. If you are here for my treasure, you are foolish to even try. Go home, you mortal doomed lucky monkey. You are no match for me. But if you be brave and foolish enough to do, perhaps I will tell you how to find the truth. The thing is, actually, what I wanted to do is show you guys like an easy way to defeat the dragons. They've had like a blue crystal topper. Like, you can all just. You can literally just like cast. Like, it, like this thing. these crystals everyone. I'll show you where the crystals are. So what we have to do first is go over here and use where one of the crystals are. The one, where you're at, the one area where you actually have to go over here. This area right over here, this is the one area you have to get this for. This is where one of the crystals are. You have found the princess's ring. That's where the princess's rings are. So then we go to the first floor. There's another ring in there. Art jewelry, I guess. And there's two on the third floor. That's where you find your floor. And there's one on the top one. You can go all the way back down and get the other thing. And get like making your reward from the princess. So here's the tiara. Princess. Alright, so then we go down over in this area. Go up. So we keep going up. Going all the way up to the third floor. All the way up to the first floor. And we have this, and then we have these children in my way, sadly. Don't know that I'm recording. At least they, at least they run up the stairs. So here's one of the other jewelry. And it's the... Princess's bracelet. the princess's bracelet. I think the brooch. Whatever that gets called. It's 
all the way over there. Right over here. And you also get a chest while we're going over. And that is the princess's necklace. Now then we can go over here, which is a little bit easier since we're already heading this direction. We get to the third, not third floor, fourth floor. The final floor of this amazing magic quest building. And then you can get your last set of jewelry. This is the brooch, I think. You have found the princess's brooch. Brooch. Proud to brooch. I'm pronouncing it wrong. Since I don't want to destroy my wand, we're going to not work anymore. I'm just going to go down the stairs and then... Yeah, I'm not much sorry. It took me like some time to figure out where you're actually supposed to cast your wand for the goblin. But I guess you can, um, since some of the go goblins dialogue that way. So I guess that's fine. So I did a little bad at first. But then once you just find like a place where like stand your wand, all you really have to do is just do this. And once you do that, the goblins are really easy. And then we go over here. We have to wait for these people to be done suddenly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right so all you have to do is you have to get the green crystal here, and then you have to get the chest, and then you get long dialogue of singing, sadly. I know I am able to use my magic and turn the jewels into stars. Her singing isn't bad, but you get long singing until she finally gets her, give you your reward. I've heard this many times. Like what I literally do is like when I get activated, I just leave and then go on the next thing because I'm not listening to a song, but for a video, I'm just going to record it. Yeah. Hopefully the dragon's more available now. There's a lot of people when I've looked recently. It took me about like five minutes or so to actually get on my turn. Apparently some kids can't do like the pixie quest thing. There you go. They'll give you the rune of Andover, I believe that's what it's called. 500 gold pieces, right? 500 gold Is that even real money? How do you fit that in your purse? Or a wallet? Whatever. I mean, I guess if it's like she's just showing you more up close on the screen, so it might be just really little. In the shop, it's really little, so I guess it makes sense. I don't know. Congratulations, Magi. You have completed your adventure. Yay, I completed my adventure. I'll have to do more adventures, because I'm a master Magi. I must do more adventures over and over again. Alright, well, that's the goblin thing for y'all. Oh, yeah.